All right, it's been a few minutes since I've used this thing. Uh, nine months worth of minutes, I guess. Very low. As for what kind of oil I'm using, I'm using the slippery kind. Cheap 5W30. Okay, it's about three quarters full. That's a, that's a good enough mark. Uh, three things to check on this basically is just oil, fuel, and hydraulic. Yeah, fuel's empty. I'm hoping that the hydraulic has enough in it due to the fact that I don't know if I have any or not. These spouts are garbage. It's the first time I bought fuel in six months. Not cheap, it's hovering around nine bucks, over nine bucks for an uh, imperial gallon here. This whole thing here is the hydraulic tank. So it holds quite a bit. So if it's a little low, should be no worries. Biplane. Okay, how's that? Hardly spilled none. Yeah, that looks fine. Okay, fluids are all good. Whether or not this starts is another story. The pull cord is very short. It's broken a few times. I might have to put a new pull cord on it. And it's not, it's not retracting like it should either. So it's still summertime here. I, I usually don't split wood in the summertime, but uh, I just happened to run across some for cheap and I bought it. It's another thing, I, I usually don't buy wood very often either. But at this price, I, I couldn't say no, because even if I do get enough firewood this winter, for this winter, I'll be able to sell a bunch. And even if I sell it cheap to friends and whatnot, I'll still make money on it. It was that cheap. Let's see if this thing goes or not. Wasp nests, mud wasps. So here in BC, this is what, well, this is what 520 bucks got me. That's uh, four kind of heaping pickup loads full. And this is Douglas fir. Douglas fir is one of the best uh, woods to burn in your fires here. Uh, it would be between Douglas fir and birch for me, in my opinion. Um, Birch is nice, it's, it's really dense and heavy though, and it doesn't split nice. So the splitting and stacking of birch is a little more difficult. This stuff splits and stacks nice, the fur. It probably doesn't produce as much heat as the birch, but I mean, they're close, so it doesn't matter. Uh, if you can't tell, some of this stuff is pretty big. Uh, I don't like the big stuff. It's just harder to handle. But uh, let's take a look at one of the bigger logs. You probably can't see on camera. 
It's 19 inches across. Yeah, it's a bit big for picking up and putting on the splitter. A lot of people will take these and they'll take a maul with them uh, up into the woods and they'll split them before they even load them because they do split easily. I'll show you how, if you don't know, how you know this stuff is, it's all cut standing dead. And uh, usually every tree will have a, like a check mark, they call it, a split. It won't take up the whole, it won't go through the whole tree usually, but uh, for a good part of the tree, there will be a split in the wood. That means it's dry and ready. There, you can see the splits in the wood here. And those splits, they really help for when you go to split the wood. Especially if you're using an axe or something. But you see the splits. They all, all got little splits in them. So you just hit it on the split and it's, it splits like nothing. Like butter. Now this, this pile, it would probably be enough to last us all winter. I'll know after I split it and get it stacked exactly how much I have. But I'm still going to get a whole bunch more. And I have to get a different type of wood to make kindling out of. I don't make kindling out of this. I make it usually out of what's called white pine. Obviously cedar is better, but you're not allowed to bring cedar out of the bushes here. Now anybody that's seen my previous videos would probably remember multiple times I've said uh, I like to get my firewood in the winter when there's snow on the ground. Well, that's usually true, except in this case when I'm buying it, it just doesn't matter. It's got a probably three months before I'll even use the, uh, the wood burner. But I like to, myself, I like to go up when it's cool and I like the snow on the ground, there's less people, and the wood stays a lot cleaner in the snow. You can drag it out of the bushes, it stays clean. So I've only got three months to split this pile. I'm thinking it's going to take me uh, three short days maybe, a few hours a day, and I should have it done. Well, then there's stacking as well, so that takes a bit of time too. But I'm going to keep track of it and see how long it actually does take one person to do that. So I can't split the wood today. I'm listening for down at the river. I'm waiting for them to uh, recover a helicopter that crashed last night. Uh, everybody lived, apparently. So far, that's what the word is. They walked out of it. But the helicopter's sitting in the river, and I'd like to get some footage of how they get it out of the river. So hopefully I don't miss it. I have to keep going down there every once in a while and checking on it. Uh, who knows how long it's going to sit there with... I could see that fisheries wouldn't want it sitting in the... It's sitting right on the salmon spawning beds. And uh, as far as that goes, like the aviation people probably want to investigate before it's moved. So we'll see how that plays out.